What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video. Now over the past few days we have had a shitload of information dropped on the Taken King from Game Informer, from Gamescom, from the We Are Guardians trailer, from the interview with Deej on IGN, from all over the damn shop. Now I have studied these trailers high and low to pick out minor details you may have missed as well as other things you can't have missed and in this video we're going to go through absolutely everything I spotted. Now, I may have missed certain things and if I did and you guys have spotted something that could be really interesting, be sure to let us know down below in that comment section. But getting straight into the video, now first up we see this time to kill exotic pulse rifle, basically an exotic version of the stranger's rifle, deals arc damage, um, its main mod is hitting crits, refuels ammo directly into the magazine. This information we know about this is natural fact and the stranger's rifle is actually a decent weapon anyway especially for that pvp now we're getting an exotic version of it i just cannot wait next up we see this dead orbit auto rifle now i see nobody mentioned this i mean yes there are quests you can do for certain dead orbit weapons this may just be one of them we're just gonna have to wait and see. You can see though it's being used on the first story into the Taken King, the story everybody played at Gamescom. Next up we see the 347 Vesta Dynasty. Now I actually covered this as well as a couple of other exotics in a previous video, but I thought I'd throw it in here as well. Now this is a weapon we've basically known about since the start of the game. And finally, yes finally, we're getting to see it in action. Now what intrigues me about this weapon is the thing on the back. What is that? People are saying it could be like a, a mole liquid ammo fucking indicator I don't know what it is to me I cannot see no digits all I can see is a dot in the middle of that thing uh, is it a radar on the back of this weapon that would be absolutely epic if it was but we're just gonna have to wait and see okay next up we have something that is really intriguing I mean I spotted this and I made a video on it yesterday you can check that video out I'll link it in the video description or you can just go to my channel but it looks to me to be a solar burn version of the Thunderlord weapon looks absolutely identical in every single way to the exotic heavy machine gun the Thunderlord except its color the elemental damage it dishes out and the mechanics of the weapon. We all know the Thunderlord had little sparkles of uh, arc coming off it, like electricity going around the weapon. This one on screen now seems as though it's on fire. Is it a solar version of the Thunderlord? We're just going to have to wait and see. Next up we see a few split seconds of a crucible match where guardians are surrounding a flag. Here we see a hunter which looks to me like he's wearing exotic gauntlets. A lot like the titans you can also see on the far right. Them gauntlets are absolutely humongous. Can't see a vendor selling something so unique but we're just going to have to wait and see. There's no guarantee any of these are exotic. Also you can see the warlock second from the left. Holding that dead orbit weapon which looks like a reskinned or molar weapon even has the liquid ammo indicator on it. What does this mean? Does it mean we will be getting faction shaders that we can apply to any weapon? Or will dead orbit weapons be reskinned or molar weapons? We're just going to have to wait and see. Next up we have the Jade Rabbit PS exclusive scout rifle. Now we've seen images of this, we've seen pictures of it, we've seen artwork of it. Now we can see well, a few seconds of it being wielded. Next up we have this amazing looking shotgun. Now to me this does not look like any sort of Vendal weapon whatsoever. To me, I think this is a new raid weapon. I believe this could be a new Kingsfall raid shotgun. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in that comment section. Next up we have this amazing looking warlock helmet. Now there's no doubt in my mind that this is an exotic. It just looks so unique, it's unbelievable. The hunter one looks pretty sick too, it really does. And even the titan one does as well. When zoomed in on the helmet, you can actually see a sort of face when closely inspected. Now the hunter in this picture, I believe may be wielding a hacker hand cannon. I mean it would make sense as the titan has a Suros weapon and the warlock has an Amalan weapon. Why wouldn't the hunter? have a hacker weapon who knows next up we see a hunter in what looks to be new trials armor well me personally i haven't seen this helmet before but i could be mistaken if i am let me know down below in that comment section next up we see a titan charging towards crota with a blade in his hand but notice what it says on his helmet it says hacker indeed it does does this mean we will be getting foundry armors as well as weapons we're just going to have to wait and see. But this is definitely a hacker helmet. There's no doubt about that. Next up we see a warlock with antlers. 
What is it with warlocks dressing as animals? This has got to be an exotic, there's no doubt about it. Next up we see a warlock throwing a grenade. When slowed down, these gauntlets indeed look very, very exotic. I mean, they may not be, but they do look very unique in themselves. Sort of like dragon metal wrapped around that arm. Absolutely badass. Uh, next up we see the text mechanic of shotgun again. We saw this from, I believe, the first Taken King trailer. Nice to see it again. This is obviously the biggest sister of the last word. Next up we see a hunter pilot in a ship, but did you notice his epic green ghost? I'm absolutely certain that ghost skins will be coming with the Taken King, there's no doubt about it. And last but not least, from the same part as the green ghost screen, we indeed see a hunter pilot in a ship while there's a battle going on in space. Only a cinematic, but we can all dream, imagine that. Battles in space where you fly your spaceship, where your spaceships won't only just be for show while you're orbiting in orbit. Imagine actually flying them about. That would be absolutely insane, but who knows. But guys, that is the end of the video and what I spotted from the recent trailers we've seen of The Taken King. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down below in that comment section if you spotted something and I missed it. Thanks for stopping by as always. If you could drop a like, I would appreciate the support and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out until next time. Peace! in the wrong knowing where we stand